here with Emma Komodo. Emma, we got the Big Ten Championships coming up this weekend, and you're coming off a big PR. 177 this weekend, uh, took the win at the Billy Hayes Invitational. You know, what went right to help you jump high this weekend? Well, um, in practice, we've just been working on a lot of things. Like, for me, it's getting my foot down and coming off and Usually my attempts at bigger heights are kind of different because I try to put more in because I know that it's a higher height, but um, I've been just trying to work on keeping everything the same, like it's just like 170 or any of the lower heights, so I just got to keep that confidence and keep going up there. And then you're heading into the Big Ten Championships and yeah. you're, you're I think, within three centimeters of the Big Ten lead. Um, does that give you some confidence heading in? Um, yeah, it really does because last year at Outdoor Big Tens, the girl who came third jumped 177, so it kind of gives me this like confidence and some hope that I can place and medal hopefully at Big Tens this year. I just got to jump clean and really compete hard with these girls. Now this is your fourth Big Ten meet. What have you learned in your first three that helps you in this fourth uh, Big Ten meet? Um, well, staying confident and just I really need to make sure that I have clean attempts all the way through because when it comes down to the end, like first, like top three is usually just by like everyone jumps really close together and it all comes down whether you missed one or you made it. And so, and also hopefully I'll PV and just jump higher. <laughs> all right, and then you know after Big Tens we come back here and you get to uh, compete at the regional here uh, on your home track, you know. How do you, you know? How do you think that's going to affect you know, you know, for you and the team coming into a, an NCAA preliminary round? I definitely think we have an advantage because it's our home track, and all our fans are going to come out and just cheer us on. And um, for every, even last year, every big jump that I've had this season is, has been on our inner track. Like I jumped 177 this year, right here on the high jump apron. And last year I had my biggest jump at 174, and it was also right here doing Billy Hayes and on this track so I hope that I just keep going up. Alright well good luck this weekend Thank and uh, good luck going the rest of the way. Thanks. Here with Portia Bailey. Portia got the Big Ten Championships this weekend. You're having a pretty good year uh, putting up some good times in the hurdles and you've also had some good open times in the uh, in the 200 and the 100 so you know do you have some confidence heading into the Big Ten Championships? Definitely. I have more than I had going into the first one just because with this I've had a few more races under my belt. I didn't compete at any Big Tens last year because I was redshirted, but now I feel a little bit more confident going into it just with having more races and getting more comfortable in my blocks and with the race and just competing at the Division One level. And like you said, uh, this is your second Big Ten Championships. What did you learn indoors that helps you, you know, even if it's just confidence heading into a, a meet this weekend. What did I learn indoors? Well, I learned indoors going there that the Big Ten's pretty competitive and those girls are really, really fast and just that I just need to stay confident and know that I can run with them and just go and not hesitate and just give it all I got and the trials to make it to the finals because you only get one shot. Now you're also running the 4x1 this weekend. You guys went to pin relays and you ran on a couple relays. You anchored the 4x2. I think you guys missed out on the uh, getting into a final by a, a thousandth of a second. You know, Do you feel like your success at the pin relays helps you uh, in a Big Ten meet running in the relay? Definitely, just because the competition was there was from all over and the crowd and the stands and just dealing with nerves. If I can, I feel like if we can do that in front of a large crowd at pin relays, then Big Ten should be no problem at all. It's just getting the handoffs right and having our minds set on just doing well and placing. Now what are your goals this weekend? My goals for the hurdles is just to run a good time in the trials and make it to the finals. Just run my butt off to get into that and then same for the 4x1. Just get through the trials and make it to the finals and place and all. All right, well, thank you for talking with me. Good luck this weekend and the rest of the way. Thank you. Here with Olu Ole uh, Olu heading to the Big Ten Championships this weekend. Um, you're coming off of a, a season best at the Billy Hayes Invite. You know, what do you think that means heading into the Big Ten Championships? Um, I think even though it was a season best, it means I still got work to do because uh, it still wasn't a PR. Um, although I really think that I have, I, it just kind of shows that 
the momentum is building at the perfect time in the season to keep going into the, to the Big Ten meet and to the regional meet and so I can do the things I won't plan on doing. You're, you're right among the Big Ten's best in the triple jump. You know, what do you got to do to beat some good guys there in the Big Ten? Um, one of the things, I mean, I feel like because I've, I've been there before, so I think the main thing I've been doing all season differently, actually, is come up with more of an underdog mentality, you know, not really like, yeah, I'm here, I'm Olu, I got the, one of the better marks in the meet time, but more like, okay, it's there, but at the meet, it's, it's a fresh slate. Anybody, can, the best people can fall, the most people can come all the way up. So I'm just going to go with that mentality that I'm low and just grind my way up and do the best I can. After this weekend, coming back to Bloomington, got the NCAA East preliminary round here in town. You know, how excited are you to compete on your home track at such a big meet? I'm excited, but actually you're excited. my excitement might be kind of like, the level might be a little bit more surprising because it's not as, I'm not as excited as I thought I would be. It's still like that same mentality, you know, just grinding and like, I mean, granted it's going to be in front of a home crowd, but if you think about it, no one's really here. So it's still going to just be like going to another meet and, you know. Just grind it out and do what I can. And then you've got uh, two of the best jump coaches in the country with Coach Huntoon and then Olympia and Eric Wilson coming back and working with you guys. You know, how's that helped you this year? Oh man, that helps tremendously because I mean, Coach Huntoon, he knows like the, he's been the reason why I've been able to get the big, consistent gains, you know, getting more powerful, getting more active. And then Eric, Eric, I mean, I don't even know how to describe he's an Olympian and not not even just he's an Olympian but he's still competing so the things that work for him as a key as him as a triple jumper he just passes on to me and then you know Huntoon, Huntoon is great but I mean he's not currently jumping so I mean I think that's just a perspective that I never had before and that that's also part of why I feel like my, my momentum is still building at the end of the season where it should be. All right well good luck uh, this weekend and uh, good luck the rest of the way. Thanks. Appreciate it. Here with Andy Weatherford. Andy heading to the Big Ten Championships this weekend. Uh, you've had a really good year at the end of the indoor season. Went 402. Uh, then you went to Penn Relays and ran on some uh, pretty impressive relays, yeah. handing off with the lead in the four by mile. So, you know, where's the confidence at heading into a Big Ten Championships? You know, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, it has been a good year and. Uh coming off some injuries from uh, track season last year and this season I've just tried to you know get in with these guys it's such a fantastic training group here that you know you just get in and you hang on and it gets you pretty fit so I'm feeling pretty good heading into Big Tens you know just riding this wave right now. You know, this isn't like you said this isn't your first go around you know you've been to the Big Ten Championships before what's the key to having success at a Big Ten meet? Um, I think the key is just getting out there and competing you know um, because you really never know who's going to show up. It's such a, it's it's getting to that bigger stage, you know, and the pressure really gets to people. So, you know, it's just about putting yourself into a good position and competing in the last, you know, lap or 150 meters and just being there when it's go time, you know. And what, you know, what are your goals this weekend? And then, you know, heading into the the NCAA East prelims and then, you know, on from there. Um, heading into this weekend, you know, my goal is to to medal in the steeplechase. You know, uh, Andrew Poor and Deshaun Turner were went one two last year, so. See if I can throw my name into that mix and see if we can pull off the sweep. I think that'd be really cool. So it's gonna it's a tough field, but I think we got a good shot at it. So that's my goal this weekend. And uh, heading into regionals, you know, I'd like to qualify for nationals and put myself in a good position for an All-American certificate. So I still uh, haven't yet got one of those. So I got to catch up to the rest of the guys. Start bringing some certificates home. So well, that's the goal. Now, like you said, you've got a great group of guys here. Um, you know, on a daily basis, how is it? <laughs> you got to be there. Yeah. Uh, so how is it you you're able to uh, you know you can stay up, but you know how do these guys help you you know on a day when you're down? Yeah, well, it's just an incredibly encouraging environment here. You know these these guys like they're getting it done every day, and it's just nice. You know like this weekend we're sitting here doing a tough workout. It's our last big one before Big Tens, and you know I'm really starting to feel it because I'm working out with the five gate guys, which is a little different for me and. I'm out there doing a tempo run and Zach turns around and you know I'm starting to fall off. He's like, come on Weatherford, let's go, let's get in this. So, you know, it's just stuff like that where you know everybody kind of holds each other accountable and it's it's really positive, you know. So I think it just helps that we're out here competing and pushing each other every day. All right, well good luck this weekend and good luck the rest of the way. Thanks for talking hey, thanks. with me. Yep.